Hi, I'm Jake. This poem is titled Punk Rockin' and Pasty Poppin'. It's about a punk burlesque show that happens monthly at the Midway in Boston. We are at No Soda Fountain, ladies and gentlemen. Motorhead rages, the Ramones stand in the back, Iggy Pop bounces, and Blondie has a heart of glass. We are at the Midway, cash only. Serving local beer is your barman Lenny who fights the good fight, a street dog, a bruiser, Belting pub ballads, scarred and smiling bullets. Lenny has zero fucks to offer. Modern Bettys join the party, stretching inked legs before the dance. The early crowd stretch their necks to get a better view and ask swings and shimmies. A chandelier of broken drumsticks spins above and spins above. Buxom definition, Miss Dinah DeVille takes the stage with everything, I mean everything she's got. Red hot molten lipstick, stars and stripes in her hair, American thighs. She demands your attention with a wiggle. Before introducing the first act, Mr. Ben Dover. It's his first time on stage. He approaches aggressively with fishnets and attitude and not much else on really, not quite realizing that three minutes is a long time to dance without undressing. And you gotta give the audience everything to applaud for. Miss Dinah rolls her eyes and declares him first out of the gate, fierce and fearless. And then there she is, pasties a poppin', ricocheting through the crowd, Miss Abby Normal, bouncing off the walls, a super ball, the epileptic dance of the happy go-go. Her hips tremble and your hips start to tremble. It's infectious as the midway grows smaller still. Drinkers, getting genius with every Guinness, step a little closer to the stage for a better view. You too, for a better view. Next up is Mrs. Deborah DeLorean. Dying to meet you. Raw, insane, unrestrained. But for the first verse, she's splashed paint all over her breasts. Blue, bright blue. And then she's gone, daddy, gone. Your love is gone away. Miss Femme Brulee and Miss Jane Doe Cabaret. Two true burlesques. In this cabinet of curiosities, get up on the stage and perform unspeakably wicked acts. Lewd and insane, and you will smile for a week. Before the final artistic assault, a jangle of guitars shake the house speakers. Vile tongues pierce the air. Miss Dinah herself gets up on stage, barely dancing. It's her birthday. She's been drinking. Before Miss Honey Pie and the rest of the performers go up on stage and spank her tattoos one by one, red and black, red and black. You turn your head and catch eyes with Miss Dinah, and you realize in that very moment that you belong to them, you're one of them. You're part of the Lennies and the Bettys and the Dinahs, these sinners and their roses, these ladies' tempest.